are back on the blue couches with a couple of friends from yes. Therapy Dogs United. Kelly Colson and Courtney Diner are with us. They're some of the directors. And we have Honey and Jordy. Jordy, Jordy yes. here with us. Hi, ladies. Hi. Uh, we've enjoyed your company today. We talked a little bit earlier. You've, you've brought the dogs in for us here at Erie News now to mm -hmm. uh, relax and mm -hmm. snuggle Not a little that bit. we need any relaxation. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Don't we all? Honey yes. greeted me first thing this morning with just this oh. look of, you. Well, you've got this day, girl. Oh, you've got this day, and we're here to support oh. you. Yeah, Kelly, talk about the work that you do when you come into workplaces like ours here at Erie News Now. What's your goal? Our goal is to just help the employees um, just de-stress mm -hmm. when they're when they're here at work. You know, work days can be long. We often miss our pets at home, and mm -hmm. um, so we just bring in a little bit of joy when we come into the workplaces. And mm -hmm. tell us about Jordy, who is relaxing quite comfortably <laughs> down there. This is Jordy. He's eight years old. Um, he's been a therapy dog since he was about one and he used to go into hospitals and now he does workplace uh, wellness visits. He's missing a limb. He mm -hmm. is, yes. He lost his limb when he was six months old. You'd never know it. No, mm -hmm. yeah, love it. And I saw, when I was walking down the hall, Jordy was coming at me and he kind of hopped because he's on three legs yeah. and his tongue was yes. hanging out, kind of hopping around too. It was so cute. Yes, the neighbors always say, we know that's Jordy coming on his walks because you get the ears and the tongue uh, coming down the... Where do you love to go with your therapy dogs? I mean, I would think nursing homes would be very satisfying. Children's hospitals, maybe... Yes, so we go to Shriners, we go to all of the major hospitals in Erie, which are very rewarding places to visit. Mm -hmm. um, and Courtney likes to visit in the schools with the kids. Yeah. She's a teacher. Yep, we also go to Sarah Ray Children's Center, and she really loves that um, visit. I've seen therapy dogs on the cancer wards where patients are yes. getting chemo. That's mm -hmm. always appreciated. Yes. And Courtney, talk a little bit about Honey mm -hmm. and her progression to become a therapy dog. Yes, so Honey is three. Um, we. When we got Honey, it was never like our goal of hers to become a therapy dog. You know, we um, got her, we did obedience classes, and kind of that next step was um, the Canine Good Citizen test, and that's something that they have to do in order to be a therapy dog. And that next step was therapy dog classes and to be certified, and that was just something that she was excelling at and that sure. we thought she would do a really good job a at. it a long process too, isn't mm -hmm. it, about a year or so? Because you had Lucy in yesterday from That's Union right. City and I know it took about a, a year to get mm -hmm. her certified to be a therapy dog. So uh, it's nothing that happens yeah. overnight and there's lots of care and time mm -hmm. taken with the process. Definitely. Yeah. And Kelly, what if someone's watching and thinking, I just, I need, my workplace needs this. How do, how do they organize something like this with you guys at Therapy Dogs United? Yeah, so we will visit any workplace. Just go to our website, therapydogsunited.org. There's a section on there that says request a visit. You put in your workplace and a date and time of when you'd like us to go, and we put it on our calendar, and you can see our therapy dogs live as they sign up on our calendar, so you can see the dog and the breed that's coming to your workplace. And what's one of the, the biggest success stories that, that you've heard from coming into a workplace or a school or a hospital? Um, well, when um, Jordy was working in the hospital with his um, tripod, you know, missing <laughs> his leg, he had a patient say, you know, if he can do it, get up and come to work every day, I can get up yeah. too. Mm -hmm. and, and he helped motivate him to get up and do his uh, physical therapy. Very inspiring. Yeah. Any schools have you coming for their first day of school to welcome the kids? Have you done any of that mm -hmm. or any open houses? We will be going, um, starting when school begins, we'll be going to, um, we go to Union City, Fort LaBeouf, General McLean. Um, we're getting into some of the Mill Creek schools as well. Great. Awesome. Right. Well, thanks for uh, staying a little bit longer today <laughs> yeah. and uh, visiting with us because we love to have dogs. You, and we love honey. You <laughs> certainly <laughs> lowered the stress levels around yeah. here. Yeah. Hearing news we're now. glad so to hear we're that. Real lax on the news tonight. She'll be center on <laughs> Thank puppies. You. Thank we you. did the parade of pups. Uh -huh. <laughs>